Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. I thought it uh, important uh, to play a excerpt of a uh, video uh, created by the front person for the No More Movement that I believe uh, was uh, recorded uh, late last year, I'm sorry, early last year, uh, in 2021. And uh, obviously you can tell uh, that the position has changed dramatically uh, with the advent of the No More Movement, with the uh, the uh, the vast sums of money that ha have, have been uh, given to her, and along with uh, possible, uh, oh, I'm going to say possible, there, there has been some uh, intelligence activity in terms of blackmail, in terms of arrests of people that are close to her. But again, this was before the, uh, the B loyalist uh, uh, intelligence service got, her, got their hooks uh, into her. So I'll just play this real quick. I think it's important million different tangents because there's so much here. The Ethiopian Human Rights Commission is a government agency. Although it likes to claim it's independent, it is absolutely not. A 2019 Amnesty report found that when investigating abuses by government entities, this agency, this commission, is quick to blame other actors, opposition parties, even the victims of the crimes themselves. Yesterday, this commission admitted that at a, the Aksu massacre, which happened in late November, happened. Amnesty reports in that massacre, Eritrean troops killed hundreds of civilians in Aksum. We knew this. Wait, the government has been denying that there have been Eritrean troops in Tigray until yesterday. Days after U.S. Senator Coons visited Ethiopia, all of a sudden the prime minister says, yeah, there are Eritrean troops in Tigray. The reason that this is such a big deal is because Eritrea, first of all, is a different country. And it's been a dictatorship for most of the 30 years that President Isaias Afwerk has been in charge. It's a brutal dictatorship. It's only second to North Korea in terms of human rights abuses. Everybody there, if they stay in the country, has to join the military indefinitely. So they are born and bred to be soldiers, and they are born and bred by this uh, president to hate Tigray, the t people of Tigray, and Tigrayan political leadership. So when you allow soldiers from this country to be in Tigray, you're co-signing all the evil acts that are possible. So anyway, so there you have it, and it kind of goes on and on and on. And uh, unfortunately, uh, she has taken a completely polar opposite stance on what she just said. So she has basically uh, now uh, says this: this is all, this was all a uh, a quote unquote lie, which it's not a lie. It actually, all this stuff actually occurred. And uh, you can see how intelligence agencies work, specifically the uh, B loyalists, uh, Isaiah Safworki intelligence services, again, uh, got their hooks into her. A multitude of ways I've, I've come to find out uh, that uh, uh, I'm not going to really talk about in this video, but it, it did occur. And now she is an active operative for uh, Ethiopian National Intelligence Services uh, and also the... Uh, the intelligence services of uh, Eritrea. Again, she was just talking about Eritrea in terms of the despotic regime, and that is an absolute fact and a very, very well documented fact. And this, again, is the uh, the leader of the low information, no more movement. Have a good day, everybody.